Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and I'm your instructor. An important part of soldering together a hollow form is putting a hole into it so that the thing doesn't explode while you're heating it up. Internal pressures inside of a hollow form need to be allowed to equalize to avoid a, an explosion that could hurt you. Now, you don't just have to put a hole in your piece, you could put something decorative on your piece in terms of a hole. If you look over here, what I've done is I've drawn a series of different types of holes that you could create in your piece. You could extend the motif of a piece by, say, if I'm making something that everything that is part of a necklace that looks like satellites, I could use space imagery in order to allow those holes to become a design aspect of the piece. Just remember that everything that you do in relation to the creation of a piece is a design opportunity for you to leave your mark and show people what you're really about as an artist. So they could be anything that you want. And I thoroughly encourage you to draw things out ahead of time so that you have an idea of where you're going. Now, if you look over here, you can see that I've actually made a series of holes in this copper plate and I've made one, two, three little images, the moon, the seahorse, and the flower. And you can see by the size of the dime, we're not talking huge holes. These are small holes that will function. Now, you can put as many holes as you want. You could create a whole piece that's just perforated with these little silhouettes. And if you need to, you can always refine them with small needle files. I hope this tip helps you make some beautiful jewelry. Check out our other videos on the onlinejewelryacademy.com. Don't forget to be a subscriber by pushing the button on the lower right. And you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget about fan funding. Thanks for watching.